Hello, my name is Mark Saunders, and this YouTube video presentation is about theory development approaches, the second layer of the research onion. And the images we see on the left was generated with using Gemini to represent theory development. This video presentation is one of a series on my YouTube channel, Mark Saunders on Research Methods, and you can see the link on the bottom left of every slide. So what we're going to be covering in this video presentation is what we understand by the terms deduction, induction and abduction. We're again then going to look at how these link into the research onion and then look at each of the three approaches in more detail, comparing and contrasting them over a number of different categories. And then I'll finish with some references and some further reading. Let's now look at what we mean by the terms deduction, induction and abduction. Now in the diagram we have theory on the left hand side and data on the right hand side. And with deduction we start with theory and design a strategy or collect our data to test that theory. In contrast with induction we start with our data and then we build our theory out of our data. So we start with data and then build theory from it. So it's from data to theory, whilst deduction is from theory and then collecting data to test it. However, abduction is a bit more complicated. With abduction, we normally start by designing a strategy to collect data to explore our phenomenon. We identify some themes and then we build on those themes and we subsequently test it. So we're moving from theory to data to theory to data. So it's a combination of being both deductive and abductive. So how does this play out with the research onion? Well, approaches to theory development are part of the broader assumptions on which we base our research design. And these, along with philosophy, are the things we need to get very clear in our heads before we move further. So let's start off and look at deduction. Deduction is, in terms of research philosophies, very much associated with positivism. Although it's important to remember that it can be associated with pragmatism as well. If we take induction, so that's when we're starting with data and then moving to build theory from data, this is often associated with interpretivism. But it can be associated with critical realism, or postmodernism, or indeed pragmatism. Now we're going to look at abduction. Abduction is often associated with critical realism, or postmodernism, or pragmatism. But occasionally it can be associated with interpretism. So what we see here is that these three approaches to theory development do link to research philosophies, but it's not a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And it's important to remember that in the research onion, we're only looking at five widely used research philosophies in business and management. So we haven't, for instance, considered feminism and other such philosophies. So this is just some of them. Now we're going to look at these three approaches to theory development, deduction, induction and abduction, and compare them in various ways. We've already talked about the philosophical underpinning, and just to emphasise it on this slide, I've highlighted the ones that are most frequent from the five on Research Onion with, with each of them. So just to summarise, deduction is normally associated with positivism, induction more likely to be associated with interpretivism, and abduction with critical realism, postmodernism, and pragmatism. But please, when you look at this table, Remember the ones in the brackets as well, because it can be associated with those. If we look at the logic of influence, for deduction, the logic is very much, if the premises are true, the conclusion must be true also. In induction, it's a bit different. The logic of inference is inductive. What we do is we know premises and we generate untested conclusions because we're building from the data to the premises. With abduction our logic of inference is abductive. We know the premises and we generate conclusions which is then test. It's that circular idea we saw in the previous diagram. So how do we generalize for each of these? For deduction we're starting with the general and generalise into the specific. So we have a general theory and then we are testing it. For induction, we're starting with 
the specific, the actual data, and then actually trying to generalise from that. And we're generalising in a theoretical way, not in a statistical way. In contrast with abduction, we're going back and forth. So we have, we have interactions which move between the specific and the general. And again, just think back to that diagram with the circular effect moving round and round between. It doesn't just have to be one cycle, it can be numerous cycles. And in fact, it often is. The sorts of data we use now. For deduction, we're using data to evaluate. And we're doing this by evaluating propositions or indeed testing hypotheses. And that's where we're making statistical generalizations when we test hypotheses statistically with data which is quantitative. For induction, we're using the data to explore a phenomenon, to identify themes and patterns, and then create some form of framework or model. So very much we're building out of the data to, to build this model and to identify key themes. With abduction, as you can see, we've got both aspects coming together. We're exploring a phenomena, identifying the themes, and then trying to locate it within a conceptual framework. But then we can then test this conceptual framework with subsequent, subsequent data. So we can see we, we can be moving between induction to deduction and back. So it's that circular idea coming round again. And in terms of the role of theory, what we see here is with deduction, we're very much in what is often termed a positivistic mode where we're trying to falsify. So we're trying to disprove rather than prove. With induction, we're trying to generate and build theory out of our data. And with abduction, we're generating or building theories, and then we're using more data to modify and refine our thesis. That cyclical pattern coming through again. So that piece is a quick introduction to the approaches to theory development. In terms of further reading, um, Kennedy and Thornburg in the Sage Pan book of Qualitative Data Collection is a really useful piece on deduction, induction and abduction. If you go to my own textbook written with Phil and Adrian, chapter four talks about all three towards the end of that chapter. And finally, the paper by Sudby in the Academy Management Journal, despite it being called What Grounded Theory Is Not, has a really excellent section on abduction. I hope you found this video presentation useful. If you have, please do think of subscribing to my YouTube channel, Mark Saunders on Research Methods. You'll find a fair number of videos there and I'm working on increasing the number every single week.